I would have to say it's the amazing teachers, the amazing professors, and the amazing uh, students. The key experience for me was when I was in Dory's class, professor uh, class of uh, class, I going to some. I was going to some my personal change, and um, she just embraced it. She gave me the tools to go through through what I was going through, and. Um, Remember that my team being so engaged and helping me in the experience. Um, I remember my colleagues uh, just being so supportive and uh, just reaching the, 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 this juncture so many times, uh, but also being so thrilled about it. Um, that would be my experience. It's, um, I, I, words cannot describe what an amazing program this is. And I can go on with experiences. I can go on with the bonds that we've, we, we've created. Everybody in here, I feel I have a personal relationship with. And I can connect. I connect on so many levels. So it's an, it's an challenging question. I can stay here and talk forever and bring a lot of personal stuff that um, is very authentic. It's very, it has made me a new person. And uh, it's, it's, it's just an amazing program. <laughs> I think I'm going to call on my first course. So my, the, the memory that's most branded with me is I started out in Accelerated Learning and Performance, also known as LMP1. And I had been in business for lots of years, hadn't done academic writing. I got the course packed. It was a thousand pages the whole reading, and all of a sudden I was just stunned, and just momentarily, I'm not sure I can do this. And then, you know, after a while, I settled into the group, and it became wonderful. And actually, my capstone was based actually on things I learned in LMP1, and actually the work I do now is highly informed by that first course. So it went from scary to sort of just natural and part of how I think about things. The MSLC experience I remember most is, is uh, you know, just being inspired by the people that I met during my brief 15 months in the program. I think the, so much learning took place after class. We all had an opportunity to get together and discuss the very dense, very, uh, very challenging material that we were presented by great teachers like uh, Dory Blessoff, uh, Jack Vinson, uh, and, and the, whole, the whole faculty was just absolutely wonderful uh, to give us the opportunity to to learn these things, but it was so, so much that we had to take time afterwards socially to almost translate what we learned. And uh, those friendships and those connections and those, those relationships that I built over that time, that's the most valuable thing. I'm inspired by the things that my classmates have accomplished. I'm inspired by all the great things that the MSLC community has done, and it's just wonderful being part of the group. MSLC is a really unusual degree program. Um, Probably my favorite one is uh, in Dory Blessoff's class in sustaining uh, organizational change or whatever, designing su sustainable change. We had to invent an organization and describe the kinds of changes uh, an organization might go through and what interventions we would plan. So we invented um, a robot rights organization, a nonprofit. It was called R2D2, uh, Robot Rights and uh, Discrimination Defense. And we had a blast. Um, and I think it, you know, we had a lot of fun doing it, but we really, uh, and as a team, worked very closely together to apply some really high-level theoretical things to what had actually been our personal experiences in organizations. And what we took away from that experience was um, was really powerful. But you know, we had Megan Redfern in a robot costume. You know, so it, you know, my furnace was being dragged out of my basement the day before we had to give our presentation, and I was pulling parts off of this 60-year-old furnace, like the dial and stuff. And the guy said to me, what are you doing? And I said, I need it for grad school. And <laughs> we were actually making a robot costume. So there aren't many places where you have that opportunity to uh, be creative and really laugh a lot and be doing something that is still deeply serious and, um, and theoretically and intellectually challenging. So it's, it was a cool combination. I would, I'd recommend the degree. <laughs> I remember a lot. Um, it, first of all, it was one of the best experiences on the whole I've ever had in my entire life. Um, I remember a 12-hour session for a class on strategic thinking where we spent all day 
um, I mean, 12 hours in a room full of people on a whole project. I remember creating a video about robots um, for Dory's class on sustainable change. I'm sure you've heard about that from some others. Um, I remember long hours with my foundations group, having meetings every week and being pushed a little bit on how I, not only my own thoughts and my, my own ways of thinking, but also on how I interacted with others because I can be a little aggressive. Um, and so I remember all of these various interactions that helped me be vulnerable because my classmates were vulnerable and um, throughout the way we learned and had fun the whole time through. So the MLCLOC experiences I remember most are foundations and foundations was our first class and we were put on a team of people we had not met before and we were paired up based on personality types. So I'm an extrovert, I hope obviously, maybe not obviously, but we were paired with introverts, with people who were thinkers versus feelers, and we had to work on a project together. And that was very much um, a learning experience for me, and actually pretty difficult, because I realized that you have to figure out not only how you are part of a team, but how others are part of a team. And how do you bring in an introvert who might sit through the entire meeting not saying a word, but has valuable input and things to offer us? How do we get that person participate and I had a lot to learn about the process of teams and a lot to learn about myself and I think I really benefited from this program in in figuring out how I could get people to be involved and in participating and make a difference um, would really be the hallway conversations that we had before classes I think that was one of the places where I learned the most because talking with people before class sometimes you've got a little overview of readings that maybe you didn't have a chance to read um, or you found out what an assignment really was supposed to accomplish as opposed to the way you approached it. You also got to have really in-depth and exciting conversations around what the content was that was in class as well as just politics and life and getting to know each other. But most of all, we built relationships that endure and they helped us get through beginning to end um, all kinds of emotional turmoil that you will live through in a, in a grad program. I've, I had a friend once that said that when you go through a grad pro program, people will die, people will get married, people will get divorced, people will have babies, and you live through all of it with the people that are around you. So those hallway conversations, those were, those were really the most memorable for me. I don't want to talk about any one particular experience. All I want to do is kind of package it all together. I had the incredible opportunity of working with some wonderful students, colleagues of mine, as well as having the exposure to some very bright minds in terms of professors. And there was such a thirst, especially being part of the first class of the university, there was such a thirst for knowledge and such appreciation for everything that was being taught and everything that was being learned that it was a very motivating factor. And for me personally, it, I really saw my thinking in terms of how I looked at the how I looked at the world, how I looked at the business, evolving in real time. It was it was just in, incredibly motivating, incredibly exciting for me. Excellent. Um, I think for me, you know, being a part-time student, um, it was the challenge of having to juggle all the day-to-day -day work and uh, with the coursework. Um, you know, coming in here, I think for the dedicated three-day intensive sessions it was great. Um, but you know, at the same time, you know, you have these. You know, for me, it was client conflicts and um, situations that I had to be aware of. So it's it the juggling of the, of the different work. I think was the biggest challenge. Um, generally, I, I really enjoyed the, the interaction with the people. You know, it's great to be in a program with, with so many like-minded people. I think if I had done an MBA program, you know, I would have been a minority in terms of you know my preferences and my interests. So it was uh, it was great to be able to meet with so many different people from different backgrounds and and shared you know, diverse experiences and insights on, on a particular topic, so that was great.